that you go out and you do your marching on, your drill and everything. And you can have numerous platoons out there at a time. It's, it's absolutely huge. So we're out there practicing. Early keeps bouncing up and down because he, he wasn't smooth in his marching. And by this time, we should have been a lot more smooth. You don't want the heads bouncing up and down. You, you want this movement like this for the whole platoon. Nice, smooth, and everything. And Early was just completely out of step, bouncing. It was just bad. He was not having a good day. Drill instructors kicked him out of the formation and put him up in the bleachers. Now we're out there marching. We got helmets, our deuce gear, which is a web belt and canteens and everything. Um, and, and basically it looks like suspenders. They come over, goes over your, uh, your shoulders to help keep everything on and your rifle. So after, I don't know, an hour or so of doing this, it's now time to go in, do mail call, and then be done for the night and have free time. You get an hour of free time every night, so you can go take a shower, write letters, get your uniform ready for the next day. So we're doing mail call. It's nighttime, it's dark outside. And while the drill instructor is calling our names, we run up there, he calls your name for mail, you run up there and you like that, and you take it. If you don't do it like that, they won't give it to you because you got to show them you really want it. This is going on, and all of a sudden, the hatch to the barracks opens, and there's a drill. Hatch is a door, by the way. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. The, there's a drill instructor standing there that we don't recognize, and he's like this with Early. None of us realize Early wasn't even with us. Drill instructor Sergeant Barrett turns around, he's like, where the fuck have you been? He was like, I've been on the bleachers. He sat there the whole time, never never paid attention to anything. Yeah. He was zoned off in his own world. Didn't realize we had left. So Sergeant Barrett starts screaming at him about, you know, how come you didn't come when we left? And he was explaining to the drone instructor he didn't know we left. And so he starts yelling at him, well, have you ever seen us doing drill at night? What makes you think we're still out there doing drill? It was hilarious. All of us are cracking up because he'd been just sitting out there on the bleachers all by himself with nobody around, no marching going on, nothing. And some drill instructor walks by and sees a silhouette of somebody sitting on bleachers. At the end of the day, private to rock, sir. Yeah. <laughs> all of us earned that title at some point Yeah, in we've time. earned that, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Got one more, one more story on my end. Um, when we hiked up, when we were out in the field, we hiked up Mount Mother. Mount Mother, it's actually Mount Motherfucker. Um, and you stare straight ahead and you see dirt. That's how steep it was. And, and we probably did about 13 to 15 miles. They call it a hump, it's a for, forced march. So at the very end, it was dark out, and I'm staring, I'm staring straight ahead and actually, I powered up that thing because all the all the guy all the taller, bigger guys with long legs went up it. All the 130, 140 pound guys that did well in the run, they got left behind, including our guide. So we get to the top, all this stuff, and um, we had our shelter halves, which is half of a tent. You put it together, and you have a, your 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 tent mate. So. And I keep. I want you. I'm gonna preface this by saying you don't do anything without ask with a, without asking a, a drill instructor's permission. Nothing. Is this early in Johnson? No, no, no. Oh, this okay. is me. This is me and um. <coughs> oh, what was his name? Um. Shit, I can't remember what his name was. But we um. We we, we were part. We were. I'll, I'll remember before this video is over. Um. But uh. Jesus, I can't believe it. Um, anyway, so we get, we got our tent, we get set up. They never tell us what you do if you have to pee in the middle of the night. And so I'm sitting there, and I see them uh, apparently making a lot of noise, getting drunk by the campfire, and I had to pee. And I'm sitting there thinking I could picture what's going on. Me asking them what to do. You know, I didn't want to. I could. I didn't want to sit there and walk out there in the middle of nowhere and take a piss and then have some some drunk DI sit there and say. 
what are you doing pissing on my holy mountain and, and having me sitting there uh, thrashing me in front of the fire and for their amusement. So I sat there and realized what's my best option and I pissed in my, can my empty canteen. That just seemed like the best thing to do at the time. You know, just got up, kneeled up, pissed in my canteen. Um, probably should have emptied it out at that, that time, but I didn't. So we're getting back, we're getting back to Edson, or we're getting back to Pendleton, and um, he's asking, he, we got to turn in our canteens, and he's like, break out the Michelob, which is like we said yesterday, the, you know, the call for pulling out your water, so I took out my good canteen, my non-piss canteen, drank it, held it over, and he put it away, break out the, um, break out the Michelob, like, oh shit, the piss canteen. So, you know, I didn't want to sit there and tell them I pissed in a Holy Marine Corps canteen, nor did I want to sit there and drink piss, so I ended up having to dump it behind my back. Not, not my best move. But I will say this, if you joined the Marine Corps and went to San Diego after September 7th of 1984, you may have drank out of that canteen. I guarantee you, yeah. You are... <laughs> Do you want to finish with anything? I think that's it. That's good. Okay. So, empty bottles, of course, but what's, what the hell it still counts. One, two, three, four. United States Marine Corps. Uh.